do you feel about all the injuries that happen in practices before the season even starts? Garrett Wilson says he likes to practice how he plays, but watching clips of him hard cutting in practice one-on-ones is scary, and he already has hurt his ankle yeah. because of it. Yeah, well, listen, there's only one way you can get ready for the season is you gotta you got to practice and be aggressive like it's season time. You know, to where I would argue with all of this is we are doing it. There, there's a reason we have more injuries now than we did 15 or 20 years ago, in my opinion. I have this conversation with friends all the time in the NFL. You know, this is to me where the NFL PA has actually done a disservice to the players. You know, they think less time training and less time practicing is better for the players. It's not. It's not. Science says that. Football gut and intuition says that. Right? It's, it's, guys are not enough in football shape all the time. So they've done their own workouts and they've cut and done all that and they think they're good to go. And then it's like, yeah, that was a workout and that was cool for an hour long, but this is the hour and 50 minutes of practice now. Yeah. And you've done three times as many cuts and we haven't gotten a chance to get you in shape for that or anything because we had only this much time on the practice field and it was phase one and we couldn't do this and this phase two and we could do this, but we can't do that. And and I, I don't think players are as in football shape when they get into training camp as they used to be. Did you see any significant injuries back in your playing days? What was, like, the biggest one that was a bummer oh, for you when you were playing? Gosh. You know, I had some old linemen get hurt and go down. Man, you know, I'm trying to think here. Let me just think real quickly. My Bucks football team early on in my career, I don't think we had a huge significant early season injury that was like, oh, man, that's crushing – um, I'm trying to think because you guys yeah. were working out. Well, I, well, well, I, I will say to a degree. Yeah, I do. We were breaking rules and everything and we didn't give a shit. And we were supposed to only be out there for 30 minutes, uh, you know, for a, a John Gruden walkthrough. You think John Gruden give a f- about what the NFL said? If somebody was going to tattletale on him, we were going to be out there for an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. Right. So yeah. And we had leaders that were constantly, Hey, we got to get in shape. We got to do this and pushed us that way. Uh, and we were a team a little bit like how I know Andy Reid runs it. Andy Reid's still old school. People still go to Andy Reid in their practices and go, I can't get over how many plays they run, how much they run around. Because he knows we can't hit and do all that, so I'm going to make practice fast and mm. pace is going to go because we're all going to be in shape by the time the season comes around. We're not going to have soft tissue pulls and stuff like that. So that's how he slowly works yeah. works them into it. What about playing in the preseason? Because I feel like we're getting to the point where in maybe two or three years, I'll be playing in some preseason <laughs> yeah, games. Yeah, no, I think you, you it's, it's, that's a delicate balance there according to how old your team is, right? You know, certain positions I think needed a little bit more than others. I think it's hard for just go, oh, O-line can't play at all, right? And then they get in the season and they're like, holy shit, I haven't blocked an Aaron Donald once the whole year, and now he's yeah. it's week one and I got to do it for real, right? So some of these positions you got to get a little feel, but yeah, you got you got to try to do your balancing the scale of, you know, the right work of, okay, we got some live bullets in preseason and okay, it wasn't too much, let's get out of the game, we're safe and healthy, and then where can I infuse – some intense practice stuff where I can trust the environment a little bit more. And I think that's what coaches are trying to find the balance of right now. And we said this last year, some of the most intense, probably best practices that the teams have is not in the game. It's when they take on other teams and those joint practices, it seems like now. I, I, I think so. Which I, think, I say sell tickets to those now because those are almost the most intense things we see in the well, It does. Games. It's, it's again, with the lack of you know practice time, preseason play, it's a good, cheap way to get – hey, some new fresh talent in here. You don't have to look at our guy over and over, right? The other thing that I always say that it does and where Bill Belichick was cutting edge, well, Belichick, not only was it like a fresh look for his guys and added some energy to the practice, right? You know, it, it hey, it's, it's not as scripted. You don't know what to expect, right? It's not the same guy for the 12th day in a row where you're a little tired of it, right? Belichick also was probably stealing ideas from the other team as they were going along. That's why I used to be like, why would anybody want to practice against him up there? He's just going to take everything or he's going to figure out how they're doing something he wanted to figure out, right? But the the unspoken best thing about it was, you know, hey, you're second team guys, right? Or whatever. There's no scout team they have to do, right? You got the other team you're playing. Yeah. That's what people forget about practice is that – you know, the first team defense is out there and they're running some reps and going and doing what they got to do. Okay. 
And now it's an offensive period. The first team defense got to go out there sometimes and give a look for them and like act like they're the scout team or do whatever. And those, that's the shit that wears you out as you go on through training camp. So having a new team in there takes away that aspect of the, the training and, and the training camp. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner, so now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbuttoned. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.